a very warm welcome to WS Cupid. So guys, in our previous session, we have covered how to install Anaconda and how to use Jupyter Notebook inside it for our Matplotlib. In our today's session, we will be talking about some functions related to Matplotlib. Why we will be understanding these functions? Because later these functions will be used in all the graphs that we will be creating. First of all, we will be seeing what all graphs are there that we are going to study and what all functions that are there which, which are the basics of let's say Matplotlib. So first of all over here is a bar plot. How does a bar plot looks like? It, it has some bars that we have been studying. We have seen these kinds of plots in our let's say uh, 9th grade, 10th grade. These kinds of graphs we have seen. A box plot. A box plot looks like this that there is a box in it and then in detail I'll be talking about it later but right now this is how the box plot looks like. If I talk about the histogram plot, the histogram plot looks like this that we have densities which goes like this and then it comes down so just ignore my drawing and just try to understand that what a histogram plot looks like and then we have pie chart pie chart for pie chart i guess everyone knows what a pie chart looks like so it has a circle in that we have different uh, ratios of different uh, values that we have the violin plot the violin plot is an interesting plot it looks like this so uh, it has like a density on both the sides this is how a violin plot it basically looks like a violin that's why it has been named like a violin plot then after this we have a uh, plot plot means a line plot over here that means if you have straight line or we have two lines over here intersecting each other or we have multiple lines or we have a data which goes something like this at deviation as well. Okay, then we have a scatter plot. A scatter plot looks like this that the data is scattered over here in this plot. Then we have stack plot uh, which goes something like this that there are different lines of it. And then we have stem plot and stem plot as uh, a data looks like this that there is a data. Let's say this is the data. This is the uh, markers basically and then uh, then a straight line is connected to it. This is why they are called as this uh, stem plot and over here this dot 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 are the peaks of the data. They are also called as markers. Then we have step plot as the name itself is suggesting step plot is something like steps and there are steps over here in this plot. So this is what a step plot is. So we'll be discussing about all of them thoroughly in this module. Moving ahead if I talk about the functions which are there. So where there are some image functions over here. I am read is used for that means I am read means I am stands for image read and if you want to read an image into an array for that we use I am read function. If you want to save a file that means if you want to save a graph over here we will be using I am save that means image save and I am show display an image on the axis. Okay, so if we have x is x is over here means x and y axis over here or it could be z as well if you have a 3D plot. After this we have some axis functions over here, axis functions so don't get confused with the axis and axis. So if we have axis, we are talking about singular one axis that is it could be an x axis or it could be a y axis over here. So this one is x axis and this is a y axis. So if we are talking about single axis that means singular value then uh, axis term is used and if we are talking about the uh, multiple axis for example we are talking about x, y axis when we are talking about both the axis together or more than one axis that means x, y, z axis in that case we use the term axes. Okay so axis and axis uh, axis is used for basically singular values and axes is used for the multiple values over here. Next is text if you want to add uh, text to the axis over here in that case you can use the text function. The title is used to give the title to your axis and as well as the graph. The x label gives the label to your axis and the x limit gives you the limit of the current axis. While at the same time if I talk about x ticks, what are ticks basically? So if you have a graph and you see the values like this over here. So it, it's like 0, 2, 4, 8. So these lines over here are called as ticks basically. So we have x ticks and we have y ticks as well. Similarly we have y label, y limit and, and y scale sets the scaling of the y axis basically. If you want to set the scale you can use the y scale function. Moving ahead next talking about the figure functions there are some figure functions as well for example figure text will give with add the text to your figure figure itself will create a figure for you with whatever dimensions you will give to it then we have show function the show function will give a display the figure for you all you need to do is write a show function and for show we can just uh, pass the parentheses if you want to save a figure uh, if you want to whatever is your current figure for example if you have uh, like any chart and if you want to save that chart in your computer then you can use the save figure option lastly we have close if you want to close the figure window in that case you can use the close function over here so i hope guys these are some small functions that are there and these are some basic functions these functions are clear to you how you can use them in our matplotlib that we will be discussing so in our next session we will be talking about bar plots and how we can use these similar functions inside the bar plot and what all different functions are there in our bar plot so we'll be discussing all that thoroughly so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you